Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every week. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're almost at the midway point of the NFL season, just a few weeks until we reach that spot. And there's just a handful of teams that are still undefeated. Two of them are the Pittsburgh Steelers and Tennessee Titans, and that will be the featured game. But we also have four more games to take a look at. So let's get started. But first, if you're not already a member, please join and you will have access to the Z Code VIP Club section with all these wonderful tools. So let's scroll down through here and take a look at the games. The Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. And that's one of the matchups we want to look at also. The Panthers and Saints both come in at 3-3. Three and three game behind Tampa Bay and the NFC South. The Saints are a very large favorite, you see, at 1.3 to 3.660 odds, with an over-under of 51. You see the Panthers right now have average down status, and the Saints are burning hot. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you will see here that the Panthers are at plus 18, and the Saints are at plus 16 at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams, see last season the Saints won both games and on the road they won by 32 points. If you're considering betting the over under in this game as we always are, take a look here. The Panthers are playing in games trending over the line and the Saints are playing in games well over the line so expect a high scoring game here. Betting the over is probably a wise choice. How stable have the two teams been? Meaning how well have they been performing? Uh, Considering their favorite underdog status, you see that the Panthers here are at minus two, so they are not performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status, whereas the Saints are. Let's take a look at what's happening with the line. Any kind of line movement here, you can see it opened at there we go. you can see it opened at 1.3. That's currently at 1.3, even though we had a period here where it dropped some. It's back up to where it was, so there's really no change in the line, as we see at the moment. So really what's going to happen here, it really probably won't be that much of a game. I actually expected it to be a closer contest, as you initially looking at. But right now I'm thinking that I expect the pattern to continue with the Saints winning easily over Carolina. Scroll down through here to another matchup. Uh, several games in, on tap you see here, but we're not going to talk about any of those. The next one here is the Green Bay Packers and the Houston Texans. The Packers are average status at the moment while the Texans are dead. You see that the uh, Packers have a 1.51 to 2.59 uh, odds favorite on the road with an over-under of 55.5. The Packers are 4-1 for the season. They're coming off a blowout loss to the Buccaneers. And the Texans are at 1 and 5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the Packers have a huge advantage, not surprisingly, at, at plus 30 to plus 7. And considering the over and under, you see that the Packers are playing in games trending slightly over the line. Go down here to the Texans, they are playing in games trending over the line all as well. So even though that the over under is, is at, set at a very high number, I expect it to be even higher score than that. So this will be. One of those shootout type of games. If you're looking at the volatility oscillator, how stable are the two teams? The Packers are actually not quite as stable. The Texans are more stable at four, but that just means that the Texans, who have been underdogs most of the season, have been losing. And they have, because they are only won one game this season. So what I think about the game, I don't think it will be close. The Packers have considerably more talent. They're playing much better, and they will win the ball game. Now the featured game, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Tennessee Titans. You see that both teams are burning hot at the moment. Both teams end at 5-0 on the season. You can see that the Steelers have a slight favorite on the road at 1.75 to 2.1 with an over-under of 51.5. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams. They have not played in a regular season game since 2017. The power rankings indicator, not surprisingly, the two teams are neck and neck. The Steelers at 29, the Titans at plus 28. 
look at the totals predictor, you see that the Steelers are playing in games trending under the line, and the Titans are playing in games trending over the line, so it's probably best to avoid the over-under in this one. Let's take a look here at the line, see if anything has happened in the line movement. You can see here, it opened up where? It opened up at 1.9. You can see now, the line is now at 1.7. So actually the Steelers are even more of a favorite now than they were before. So what does this all mean as far as playing it out, as far as the betting goes? I think that the Steelers will continue doing what they're doing, and they will come away with a victory. It will be a close game. It will be a very entertaining game. I think the Steelers win by a field goal. And we have a couple more that we want to look at. See a full slate of games for this week. Kansas City and Denver, that should be a good one. Here we go, San Francisco at New England. The 49ers have average status at the moment. New England has a dead status. Right now, the, the New England is 2-3, and three, under 500 for the first time in, phew, seems like forever. And the 49ers are coming in at 3-3. Three and three. The Patriots have a slight uh, odds favorite at 1.72 to 2.13 with an over under of 45.5. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see both teams trending downward, not a surprise, at plus 12 to plus 11 with a slight edge for New England. If you're considering the over and under, you see that 49ers are playing in games trending slightly over the line. New England also playing in games trending a little bit over the line. So betting the over is probably a pretty good choice in this one. How stable are the two teams? Again, we always like to look at that to see how well they're performing according to their favorite underdog status. And you can see here with the 49ers at minus one, they have been completely unstable. So take that in consideration before you place your bet. New England is, is doing a good job as far as the, the favorite underdog status is concerned at plus two. Let's take a look at the line, if there's been any movement in the line. You see here with the weekly movement, we can see that the opening line was at 1.549. And right now, it's at 1.719. So you can see here, it's a little bit of a movement, uh, trending a little bit more towards who? Well, who was the favorite in this one? If you see who the favorite was in this one, we can explain what that means. You can see right now that New England was a favorite with 1.5. Now it's 1.7. So it's a little, moving a little bit towards more thinking that the 49ers could win. But even so, I think that... Patriots will find a way to win. It's very difficult to envision them starting off at 2-4. and four. I think they will have enough to get by the 49ers at home. The final game we're going to look at is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Las Vegas Raiders. Tampa Bay is average up at the moment, and the Raiders are ice cold up. Tampa Bay is coming off a huge 38-10 win over the Packers. You look at the power ranking indicator, they're coming in at, whoop, let's look at this again, and they're coming at plus 17, and the Raiders are there at plus 10, so they have an edge there. If you're considering the over and under on this one, which, by the way, is set at 53.5, Tampa Bay is playing in games trending over the line, and as far as the Raiders go, they are playing in games trending a bit more under the line, so... That probably negates each other. I would not bet the over-under on this one. Are the teams playing consistently according to their favorite underdog status? Well, the Raiders not so much at zero, but Tampa Bay is. They are a plus three. So putting it all together, what do we think is going to happen here? Well, I think that Tampa Bay is just getting, finding its rhythm, finding its groove. They're playing well. I believe that they will come away with the road win against the Raiders in this one. And there's a couple more matchups here that we're not taking a look at, but again, there's the Chicago Bears and the and the Rams, and there you have it. So that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please take time to join up if you have not already joined, and happy betting, and we will see you next time.